us. Be a warrior. Do you trust me? I trust you. like the diva of all of the misses. She's got the big hair. Look at that. I'm now getting to live out my fantasy of all the hair I want. It's a director's playground to just be able to let your imagination run wild. Thank you. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> One thing about Mrs. Who is that she pulls from so many cultures and continents and ages. In her costumes, we go from African ideas to Japanese to South American ideas. Thank you. Isn't this incredible? Mrs. Witch. She has been around for millennia. In action! Cut! Here we go! I think you can see it come to life in these characters. Mrs. Watson is the youngest of them all. She is more playful and more colorful. She's earthy, motherly, but still she's got a little fire in her. Cut. Great job. Hi, Meg. Here we are in one of the two billion galaxies in a universe that stretches about 91 billion light years from end to end. And Kim Kimball's work with hair, I don't know anyone that loves what they do more than Kim Kimball. We have different textures and fabrics in their clothes. We want to do the same thing with their hair. Hair, makeup, and wardrobe work together quite closely. They were quite a force. 91 billion light years traveled like that. We heard a cry out in the universe. The misses are three celestial beings who've taken a human form to help Meg and her brother find their father. And our costume designer, Paco Delgado. That's fantastic. I think he's kind of a genius. Beautiful colors, vibrant metallics, and so much fabric. There's nothing subtle about any of it. <laughs> you could have prepared them a little better. I mean, I'm trying, but they're human. Action! Meg, Calvin, thank goodness. I was so worried. Are you okay? Let's keep that energy! As a team, we've come up with some things that allow us to give folks a little extraordinary, a little beyond the ordinary. We're putting a lot of different ingredients in there. Hopefully our recipe is delicious. This great adventure of a film has been one of the great adventures of my own life. Can't do better than that. Cut, nice! Rated PG. I've never been part of a movie where the diversity represented on camera and off camera is so effortlessly inclusive. This is my favorite planet in the entire galaxy. No offense to Earth. It was amazing to watch this army of hundreds of people coming to make this film. I was excited to be part of Ava's vision. I think that the particular discipline, organization, and artful eye that Ava brings to the work inspires everybody who's working for her. In action! Your father is lost in the universe. My father's alive. How about we go and find him? A Wrinkle in Time is a story about a girl named Meg. She's imperfect. She's all of us. She's in a package that's much different than most cinematic heroes. A black girl with curly hair and glasses. It's the idea that any of us can be a hero. Energy and action! 
question. My overall vision for the film is to create with a fantastic team of artists and craftspeople something visually stunning, something that reverberates within you when you see it, something that sticks to your ribs. Oh, that's it. I love it. <laughs>